Hello guys, Brickley here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So it's been a year now, almost since we got the last major LEGO architecture set, being the Pyramid. This one was an amazing set. Because on the start of this year, we got a smaller set, being the Promo, but it looks like we're finally getting another big set. Being 21060, the Himaji Castle. This one should be coming in at a retail price of $160. It should contain, in total, 2,125 pieces. So pretty similar piece count to last year's architecture set. Of course, the Himaji Castle is based in Japan and is a beautiful building. A few of us did expect they might go with the one of the two buildings which is in the promo which hadn't been previously made in architecture series looks like they're not doing that they're not doing another skyline this summer but instead we'll be getting this castle the castle of course is surrounded by a lot of trees and is raised up on a hill so it'll be interesting to see how they actually do that on that black base if they just go up with the castle itself or also integrate some of the scenery of course there are some blossom trees in certain times of the year so i think that could really go good as part of this display model but nonetheless to capture all the angles itself of the castle is going to look really really interesting so there's a release really step for that one it should be coming out on all August 1st, 2023. Then last year for LEGO Technic, we got the BMW motorcycle, which proved popular. That one should be carrying on next year with a brand new motorcycle with 42159. This one being the Yamaha MT 2022. It's going to be coming in a similar piece count with 1,478 pieces. We don't exactly know the price tag yet, but it should roughly be between $170 to $200 in total. So obviously on the expensive side due to a lot of larger modded elements. And this one should be the black bike and then have these turquoise rims like you can see on the picture here they also should have some gold piping going throughout the model so really diverse range of colors which should make this one a really impressive display model i presume this one being 18 plus set will also have some sort of display stand that one should also be launching on august 1st 2023 then we move on to 42146 the lieber lr 13882 pieces the piece count should be coming in at 450 dollars of course we've known this one for a while now quite a while actually but we now know some more details that previously was rumored to be 1.5 meters in height that has now changed to around 99 centimeters in height so around a third reduction on the total size of this model of course that is compromised for what it could have been a great model but this one will be easier to display now and in terms of how it's going to be controlled it's going to be controlled for the control plus app system that's how it'll operate and it should be a lift up to 500 grams when this thing is built so for it to actually be able to lift that much weight is really impressive for lego technic model so this one is definitely going to be impressive it is going to be in that yellow color scheme also include tracks and also a silver cabin so it is a pretty good model and i'm excited to see this one when we get pictures probably around june or july then we also have the brand new mars perseverance rover we have some features on that one so we now know this one will have moving wheels and it also should include a movable arm feature not control plus just you can do this with your hand basically that one it should be coming in with 1132 pieces and should retail for 90 dollars. and a lot of people will be excited to get another spare set even if it is within the technic lineup we're also getting the brand new lamborghini hurricane this one we now know will be in a turquoise color scheme i'm not sure if it's gonna have the orange accents but it definitely should be in that turquoise color scheme that one should include 806 pieces coming in for 50 dollars so it should be a pretty kind of the mid-scale size we see for the technic cars like we saw the with the bugatti at the start of this year and like, speaking of that bugatti you might remember two years ago now lego trials and recolor sets well it seems the bugatti is going to be getting that recolor treatment with 42162 the bugatti bull eyed in blue so this one should be the blue version of the bugatti should be coming in exact same piece count exact same price of 900 and five pieces for fifty dollars and this one should probably have three and identical build same functions same look just in that blue color scheme rather than the yellow so it's really interesting they're doing that one and they are doing some brand new recalls so that one should be launching as long with all the other technic sets on august 1st 2023 we also got a first look at our brand new like easter promo this one should be available from march 16th we don't yet know the threshold but this one is the easter basket so you can see there is a rabbit sat inside a basket with also some flowers which remind me of the botanical collection around it this one is a pretty good easter promo well, to be honest and i'm sure it will be pretty popular as people always like to pick these up with some new sets around march and april we also got our first look at one of the lego indiana jones minifigures which should be coming in the brand new sets in just a month's time you can see that brand new hat and hair combo a bit closer up in a bit more detail and you can also see the spider webs on indiana jones's face and also that brand new torso printing which is then continued onto the legs which is some amazing printing this one should be available in 77015 the temple escape diorama we also have some new info about this one that it should include an open trap door and see indie chairs by a huge boulder and this will take place when you turn the four buttons on the 
the base. These will also lower and light the idle up so it will have light breaks and it will collapse a wall and swing Andy Indiana Jones through the cave. So this one is actually a really interactive diorama which we haven't really seen before with the Lego diorama series. But so far, looking at the minifigure, it looks amazing. This also confirms that the, uh, the plane chairs and also the escape from the temple will end up releasing with the diorama as though it's in production. But once again, the Temple of Doom isn't releasing in April, which is a shame. We'll also got a look at some brand new Star Wars minifigures, one of the Mandalorian, of course, in a bit better detail. Showing the colour, it's actually a bit more darker blue. And we also got a look at the face print underneath it, so we will have a printed face. Moving some significance to a character in the brand new Mandalorian season coming this week. We'll also got a look at a brand new Luke Skywalker X-Wing minifigure. This one, of course, confirmed that we are getting a brand new UCS X-Wing. In terms of the details for that one, it should be Sen 5 355, the Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Starfighter. Should be coming in with 1,949 pieces. Should be retailing for $200. $40 and should be launching on May 1st, 2023. You can see the minifigure has some amazing torso and leg printing. Then that is also continued onto the back. Um, the X-Wing should also have an R2-D2 minifigure included. I know it's not everyone's first choice, but they are doing some remakes of all the UCS sets like we saw with R2-D2 two years ago. And even an exclusive minifigure will have some draw to it. And if you do this by this one on release, we do know some more details about the promo. So this one is once again going to be an 18 plus dollars promo. So contain 289 pieces, sorry, and should include one minifigure. So if you're not breaking up, you are going to get that promo on May 4th. We've also got fish images that are brand new Lego botanical puzzle. This one you can build the botanical set as a puzzle format. This is now available on Lego Shop at home in your regions. We've also got a look at a brand new Harry Potter polybag. This one being the Quidditch training with a Cho Chang minifigure. This one apparently has a great minifigure. Lots of people seem to be excited about that one. We've also got a look at the brand new Speed Champions polybag. This one being the McLaren Solus. This one, a great model with that yellow, black and white colour scheme. Those two polybags should be available worldwide from March 1st from wherever you found polybags in your country. The LEGO House also revealed a brand new set today, this one being the Upscale Pirate. This one is this year's LEGO House exclusive set, meaning you can only buy this one at the LEGO House sadly, but it is a great model of those upscale minifigures of that pirate minifigure. Then also at the LEGO House, they are going to be doing an exclusive LEGO Pirate minifigure print on the building your own minifigure where you can print on it. And as you can see on the back, it is an exclusive torso, same 45 years of the minifigure. So that one is a great way to get an exclusive torso if you're buying this one if you're in Denmark. That one should be available from the Lego house from March 1st along with the minifigure. Walmart have also revealed a brand new Easter pack which you can get which includes free sets for only $15. This should be available online and also in your Walmart stores so check that one out. If you want to get a range of Lego creator Britbert animals you can get them all in one pack and at a great discount. We also got a better look at the Lego Disney 100 CMF packet. You can see the characters in a bit more detail. All of these are looking really great like Mickey, Cruella. Some amazing characters coming in this series launching on May 1st. Then of course a lot of you are excited for the brand new Jurassic Park sets. These ones celebrating Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. So for some more information, thanks to Promo Break. So of course we know the set names being 76961 and the Visitor Center, the Attack of the T-Rex. 692 pieces for $120. Although now we know this one won't be an 18 plus diorama, we do know that this one will include a molded Velociraptor and also a T-Rex which will be molded in the set. In terms of minifigures, it's going to include Ali Sattler, Alan Grant, Ray Arnold, Dr. Henry Wu, and then also Lex Murphy and Tim Murphy will be included. So around six minifigures included in this set. In terms of the build, it's going to include the lobby where it has the dinosaur skeleton, also the restaurant area and also the laboratory. So even though this one isn't an 18 plus diorama, they've still managed to cram right a lot in with terms of minifigures and build for the play set. We also have the discoveries of the Brachnosaurus. This one should be coming in with 512 pieces for $80. This one includes the biggest molded dinosaur being the Brachnosaurus, which consists of a large molded parts from the head, the neck, the tail, the body and the legs. So multiple giant parts go together to create the Brachnosaurus, which will also be able to stand on its hind legs, which will be really cool to see. And for the first time, we are getting a Jeep Wrangler with an open roof in this set. This one is something kind of the eight stub wide, which you'd expect to see for Speed Champions. So kind of based it, a Jeep Wrangler from Speed Champions and that Jurassic World covering. In terms of minifigures for that one, Alan Grant, Ali Sattler and John Hammond. Then we also have the search for the Triceratops. This one coming in at $50 with 281 pieces. This one should include one of the Ford Explorers from the diorama last year, pretty much the same build. In terms of molded dinosaurs, it's going to include a molded Triceratops. In terms of minifigures, we're getting two being Ellie Sattler and also Ian Malcolm. Then one of the play features for this one will be a buildable pile of poo, so you can create that scene that we saw in the movie. So that one will be a bit of a funny set. 
give an increase that one then we also have the dallasaurus ambush hopefully i said that right that one coming in at 20 dollars. this one should include a molded dallasaurus and also a dennis nedry minifigure this one should include another jeep wrangler but this time with the roof on rather than the roof off then the smaller set is the velociraptor escape this one is four plus should include a two-story observation tower of course a really simple build in terms of the molded dinosaur this one should be a molded raptor we don't know the minifigures yet it's a pretty impressive line for those jurassic world sets these should be launching jurassic park sorry and these should be launching in june 1st worldwide i've left some more detailed descriptions that you can read all the details in terms of sizing and other things on screen now if you want to pause it and read through those but it really does sound a great way with some great way to get minifigures and also i'm surprised you've not done a d2c this year for jurassic park which is the shame as it would have been the perfect opportunity but as i'm using it 2020 feet leaked and rumors comment down below which ones you're excited for which ones are you not like video subscribe and turn notifications for more like videos on my new video to watch any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and breaking i'll see you all later guys bye bye